Hello friends, good morning. In my previous two lectures, I had explained you the percentage differential prediction that is also called as bias differential prediction or merge price prediction of the transformer. This is the main prediction for the large transformers. Now, when we are using this merge price prediction for the transformer or bias differential prediction, then we have operating condition i1 minus i2 should be greater than p times i1 plus i2 by 2 that is the operating condition of the differential relay. This is mean circulating current and it is differential current and p is bias that is flow of the characteristic. For characteristic we take differential current along y axis and mean circulating current along y along x axis and slope is b. Below this it is restraining region and above this I1 minus I2 is greater than this, so it is operating region. I will explain what are the difficulties arising when this protection is specifically used for the transformers. First difficulty is, see the operating condition is this and for achieving this condition, we need the identical CT ratio on both the sides of the equipment being protected. For generator, it is no problem. For line, it is no problem. For bus bar, it is no problem. For induction motor, large induction motor, it is no problem. But when we are using transformer, the voltage level on both the sides is not same. Therefore, current level will be different. So, if we use identical CTs, then under normal condition also, the relay will operate. So, remedy is, we have to use the CTs, such, we have to select the CT ratio according to the Transformation, transformation ratio of the main transformer so that under normal condition the current entering from both the sides is same and they get cancelled and there is no differential current in the relay. Second difficulty is general use of star delta or delta star transformer. When transformer is connected in delta star or star delta then there is phase shift of plus or minus 30 degree between the primary current and the secondary current. And this differential protection operates on the basis of phasor sum. So, even when we select the identical CT ratios, then due to this phase shift arising, the phasor sum will not be zero and the relay will operate under normal condition also. To overcome this difficulty or drawback, we connect the CT on the star connected side of the transformer in delta and on delta connected side of the transformer, we connect the CT in star. So, that neutral neutralizes the phase shift of plus minus 30 degree. To explain these two effects that is how to select CT ratio and how to connect the transformer, how to connect the CT, I had taken few numericals in my last class. Now let us come to the third problem specifically related with the transformer production of the transformer and that is arising due to tap changing of the transformer. In transformer taps are provided on primary side or secondary side or on both the sides so that whenever we require to change the transformation ratio due to load change, we change the tap and accordingly the voltage level changes. But once we fix the CTs on the on both the sides of the transformer for protection, then that is fixed. So when tap is changed under normal condition also, there is possibility that relay operates because I1 minus I2 is not equal to zero will condition because in that case the current ratio will also change due to change in ratio of the voltage. So this condition I1 minus I2 will not be zero and relay may operate. Now there are two ways for overcoming this problem. Number one, we shall we can provide taps on the city also, but that is not practical method. But practical method is we select the characteristic of the differential relay so that it is having large slope. So, if slope is large, then restraining region will be more and operating region will reduce. So, we have to change the slope such that the operating point after tap changing also comes under the restraining region. Therefore, in general, the percentage differential relay which is used for transparent production has higher slope then the percentage differential relay used for generator protection. So, by changing the slope, we can increase the restraining region and we can avoid the maloperation of the relay due to tap changing of the transformer. 
Now, fourth main difficult problem is due to magnetizing in the current of the transformer. Now, let us see what is the magnetizing, magnetizing in the current, why it appears and how to avoid the operation of the relay due to this magnetizing in the current of the transformer. Magnetizing in the current of the transformer. This is the fourth major problem due to which transfer percentage differential relay mal operates that is it operates even when there is no fault. So, let us see what is magnetizing in the current. When definition is when transformer is switched in at no load condition. It is switched in at no load condition then condition is as good as switching of an inductive large inductive load. So, in this condition transformer draws very high current that is called as magnetizing inrush current of the transformer. So, it is there when transformer is switched in at no load condition. Now, let us see what are the salient features of this current. Number one, it is very large that is it is approximately 10 to 20 times the full load current. Second is it flows in the primary winding only. Third is it is peaky in nature. Now, as it is flowing in the primary winding only, from secondary side there is no current and we know the operating condition of the differential relays I1 minus I2 should be greater than B I1 plus I2 by 2. So, as I2 is not there, I1 is only there and it is very large, the operating condition is satisfied and the percentage differential relay operates even when there is no fault. Now, let us see what are the factors on which this magnetizing in current depends on. First factor is pore size. Larger the pore, more will be the magnetizing in the Second is pore material. Now, that depends on the pore material also, that is permeability of the pore material. Third is residual flux, phi r. If suppose transformer is switched off, load is disconnected and immediately transformer is switched in at no load, then this flux, which is which was earlier in the pore, that if this is not has reduced to zero value, then some flux will remain there that is called as residual flux and fourth most important factor is switching instant which is not in our control. Switching instant means the instant on the voltage wave at which the transformer is connected. Now, I will explain this factor and this factor in detail. Now, let us consider these waveforms. The first waveform this one is for the voltage. Vt is equal to Vm sin omega t. This is voltage waveform. I have shown that it is starting from origin. That is when omega t is 0, sinusoidally vary. This is the peak value of the voltage Vm. Now, this waveform which is which I have shown by dotted line that is for the flux. That is for the steady state flux. This flux is lagging this voltage by 90 degrees. So, when this voltage is at peak value, this flux is 0. When this voltage is 0, it is at negative peak that is minus 5 m. It is plus 5 m that is the positive peak value of this steady state flux. Now, when transformer is switched in, at that time itself, the transient flux starts. When transformer is switched in, exactly at this instant, the transient flux starts. Now, transformer can be switched in at any instant between 0 to 360 degree, 0 to 2 pi. If transformer is switched in at this instant, when voltage is going through its peak value, then at that time, the steady state flux is 0. So, in that case, transient flux and steady state flux will be same. There will be no extra flux or extra transient flux. Both will be same. If this transformer is switched in, let us say at this point, that is when omega t is 45 degree. Then from that point, the transient flux will start and it will follow the path of steady state flux. The worst condition is when transformer is switched in at positive going of the voltage wave. Positive going voltage means this instant. So, if transformer is switched in at this instant, then from this instant, the transient flux starts and that will follow the path of or waveform of the steady state flux. 
So when transformer is written at this instant, at this instant, the transient flux magnitude is zero. Then it is following the waveform of this steady state flux. So when steady state flux is passing through zero, this flux will be having magnitude of phi m. When steady state flux is having magnitude of phi m, this will have magnitude of twice phi m. When steady state flux at this instant has zero value, the transient flux will have magnitude plus phi m. When steady state flux has magnitude minus phi m, it will have magnitude of zero and so on. So this is the waveform of the transient flux. This I will show. It is transient flux. So if transformer is filled in, when voltage wave is passing through zero value, positive wave value, then maximum value attained by this transient flux is two times phi m. I will repeat when voltage wave is passing through its positive zero, positive going zero, then the maximum transient flux available will be two times phi m. Now, if there is already some residual flux and that is also a positive quality, positive nature, then that this flux, transient flux will start from phi r and in that case, the maximum value of transient flux will be phi r plus twice phi m. Now, this is very high flux. This is very high flux demand. So, due to this, the magnetizing inrush current, that is magnetizing current will be very large. So, it will be like this, magnetizing current. Like this. This is magnetizing current, magnetizing inrush current. That is also following the path of this transient flux. You see it is very large. It is very large, it is peaky in nature and it is flowing in the primary winding only. Therefore, it causes the percentage differential delay to operate even when there is no fault. Now, let us see what is the remedy or how the operation of percentage differential delay is avoided due to this magnetizing inrush current of the transformer. Now, let us see how to avoid tripping of this, uh, tripping of the relay due to this magnetizing inrush current. One more property of this magnetizing inrush current of the transformer is it flows for few seconds only. So, first remedy can be like this. We can make this percentage differential relay inactive when this magnetizing inrush current is flowing that is for first few seconds. But the drawback is if there is already fault in the transformer and we are making this relay insensitive for few seconds, so transformer will be damaged due to this fault. So this method is not practically applied. A practically applied method, there are two methods. First is called as harmonic restraint method. Now first we analyze the fundamental the fault current and magnetizing inrush current for fundamental component and harmonics. It is observed that fault current is rich in fundamental component, whereas magnetizing inrush current has about 63% of second harmonic, this is approximately 63% of second harmonic and approximately 27% of third harmonic. So, if we add, we find that the magnetizing inrush current has about 90% of the second and third harmonic. It is rich in harmonic content. So, we can do like this, the operating coil of the percentage differential delay is energized by fundamental component. Operating coil of the relay is energized by fundamental component and restraining coil is energized by fundamental component plus harmonic. Restraining coil is energized by fundamental component and harmonic. So, during flow of magnetizing inrush current, it is built in harmonic, so restraining torque will be more. It is low in fundamental component. So, harmonic uh, operating torque will be less. Restraining torque is more than operating torque, so relay will not operate. And during fault, fault current is rich in fundamental, so operating torque will be more and restraining torque will be less. So, during fault, relay will operate. So, this is one method for or one remedy for avoiding the operation of percentage differential relay 
due to magnetizing in rush current. Now let us see what is the second remedy. Second method is harmonic blocking relay. In this method, we are using an additional relay called as harmonic blocking relay. Now this is the trip circuit. So R is main relay. Main relay has normal open contact. This is harmonic blocking relay. Its contact will be normally closed. Reverse of this. Its contact will be normally closed. And this is trip coil of the circuit breaker. Now here for this main relay will operate normally. This harmonic blocking relay has filters. Operating torque is energized by harmonic component. Operating torque is energized by harmonic component via filter. So harmonics will be filtered out and they will be given to the operating coil. So operating torque is proportional to harmonics. Whereas resistance torque is proportional to fundamentals. So there is another filter which will filter out fundamental component and this is given to the resistance coil. So resistance torque is proportional to fundamental component. Now during flow of magnetizing in rush current. Operating torque will be more than resistance torque. Now see in this diagram. Now during flow of magnetizing in rush current, operating torque is greater than resistance torque. During magnetizing in rush current, operating torque is more than resistance torque, so this relay will operate. Now when this relay operates, this contact will open. So even when the main relay operates due to magnetizing in rush current, this relay has operated, so trip coil of the circuit breaker will not be energized. I will repeat. During magnetizing in rush current, for harmonic blocking relay, operating torque is more than resistance torque, so this relay has normally close contact, so it will operate, it will operate means it will open its contact. Main relay will operate due to magnetizing in rush current. So even when this contact closes, this is open, the trip coil of the circuit breaker will not be energized. Now during fault condition for this harmonic blocking relay, distending torque is more than operating torque. So this relay will remain as it is in its original state that is normally closed. So during fault, this relay will operate. So this contact closes, this is already closed, so trip coil of the circuit breaker is energized. So these are two methods for avoiding the tripping of main relay due to magnetizing in the rush current of the transformer. Friends, if you feel this video lecture useful, then please like it, subscribe to my channel, ask your friends, colleagues and juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection. If you want to make effective and efficient use of time, then read my book on time management. The link for the book is given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for the students on Udemy. This course is specifically useful for the students who are appearing for the competitive and entrance exams. The link for the book is also given in the description box. Sorry, the link for the course is also given in the description box. Thank you.